access to the 16-week short course has been provided through scholarships from St. Paul's Parliamentary Representative, Honorable E.P. Chet Green. The scholarships today, they represent hope. Hope for the future, for yourselves, for your families, for your communities, for your nation, for the OECS, for the globe. You could be offered a job in any place in the Commonwealth, India, Australia, any place you can imagine. Executive Director for the Lifelong Learning Unit at the UE5 Islands campus, Paula Lee, encourages the students to take full advantage of the opportunity, advising it's a stepping stone to their academic advancement. 23 courses will be on offer at the Learning Unit in 2023. MP Green said, there's no avenue more suited to empowerment than education. As we empower our people to be better citizens, more contributing citizens to the development of St. Paul's and indeed Antigua Barbuda. I want to say to you that this afternoon what we're looking at here is local training for global competition. Minister Green used the opportunity to appeal to constituents to register for the Youth Education and Empowerment Program, YEEP. For persons in this community who might have left school for whatever reason without having subjects, or persons who simply want, wish to upskill themselves with adding more subjects to their, their portfolio, this program is for you. Again, it's about making you marketable. Minister Green noted, the center will commence classes for grade six students shortly, aimed at increasing the number in who makes it into the top 100 of the national assessment. I go further by incentivizing that program for every grade six student who passes the common entrance exams on the top one of the list. Automatically, you get one laptop computer to start your secondary school education. He advised computer classes will resume shortly with the acquisition of new computers. MP Green implored constituents to take advantage of the 60 spots on offer this semester to include 20 at the UWI Open Campus and 20 with you. Sherilyn is reporting for ABS News.